Do you really know what kind of fish you're eating? Over the past several months, the Boston Globe has investigated the widespread practice of fish mislabeling, disguising one species as another, usually to increase profits. A Boston area seafood broker was recently sentenced in federal court for mislabeling Vietnamese catfish as grouper, a far more valuable species. How the fish made its way onto U.S. restaurant menus at TGI Fridays as flaky white grouper provides a glimpse into the murky global fish industry. Raised in freshwater ponds adjacent to the Mekong River, the Vietnamese catfish are an aquaculture success story. Inexpensive to raise, fast-growing, and packed so densely that the water surface roils during feeding times with hungry gray fish. Fish are fed mostly with commercial pelleted feed, which tend to be low in protein content when compared with salmon or trout. There are several different catfish species, and most are raised in ponds in the Mekong Delta. It takes just seven to eight months for these catfish to grow big enough to be harvested. They are sometimes given antibiotics or chemicals like malachite green that are banned in the U.S. In 2003, U.S. catfish farmers, deeply alarmed at the influx of cheap foreign catfish, succeeded in getting a duty placed on foreign catfish. Almost immediately, U.S. importers began disguising the catfish as other species to avoid the tariffs. One seafood importer shipped millions of pounds of frozen fillets of catfish from China to Hong Kong and then to ports near Los Angeles. The fish entered the U.S. labeled as grouper, went to Boston and into freezers at the seafood wholesaler known as Universal Fish of Boston. Universal Fish sent the Vietnamese catfish, still labeled as grouper, to food distributors, and some of the fish went to TGI Fridays where it was featured on menus as Key West Grouper. Yet some of the boxes also contained an odd word next to grouper, panga. A worker in a U.S. food service warehouse noticed this and became suspicious. A DNA test confirmed the fish was not grouper, but Vietnamese catfish, a far less expensive species. The so-called grouper was immediately recalled from TGI Fridays, but the fish was never given back its true identity. It was shipped out again labeled as grouper. Today, no one knows where that fish went.